Hey everyone, so OpenAI have released a update to ChatGPT, which some are calling the death of 10,000 AI startups. We'll dig in to see if that's actually the case and take a look at a secret that's hidden in some code. We're also gonna take a look at some big Claude news with Google throwing $2 billion at Anthropic, which is a little bit weird considering that Google has Gemini coming out soon. Okay, let's dive in. So the big news of course is that ChatGPT has released an update that makes it truly multimodal. Currently, to do various tasks, you would have to open up separate chat threads. It does get pretty frustrating and obviously does break up a lot of concentration flow when you're sort of jumping back and forth between various chats. But this new update does solve all of that by allowing you to have Vision, Code Interpreter, Dolly, and Browsing with Bing all available within one chat. They're slowly rolling this update out to ChatGPT Plus users. I actually don't have it yet. I'm always like last to the party when it comes to ChatGPT updates. My invitation keeps getting lost in the mail. Now, one of the bigger touted features of this new update is that ChatGPT can now read PDFs, which does seem like a weird flex considering that we've been able to do it for a while now via third-party plugins. There have been a number of these. I think the most popular is AI PDF, but as we can see here, uh, we can do PDF reader. Aaron chat PDF, access PDF and docs, and even create PDFs via all of these various third-party plugins. Now, I will say that there are a number of these, but 10,000 might be a bit of a stretch. But this does seem to be a pretty big step in ChatGPT becoming the thing that we have wanted it to be. Now that said, there is a report from Josh Hendrickson over at PC Mag that claims after feeding ChatGPT a 20,000 word piece, it refused to look beyond the first 1,000 characters, which does sound kind of suspiciously low. That said, there are going to be some really cool and practical applications just by bringing browse and image generation together. For example, someone prompted the updated ChatGPT to search for data on the hurricane season of 2023 and create an infographic about it. And I mean, it did. And because it's connected to Bing, it will generate from live data as Alex Volkoff discovered when he prompted for an image that depicted the current weather conditions in Denver, Colorado. But of course, this is still Dolly 3 and as good as it's gotten with spelling, it's not quite there yet. I mean, this is all happening on Vin's day. Yeah, it's gonna be snawing that day. The biggest win for me is that all of this provides a way to give Dolly 3 reference images, which is something we have not been able to do. Previous to this, the only way that you could really do this is to feed an image to ChatGPT and then ask it to describe that image and then feed that description back over into another chat that was running Dolly 3. To be honest, that whole method was kind of a mess. It was sort of a pain. So this is an immediate improvement. And interestingly, via Tibor Blaho, there was apparently some JavaScript code that was embedded into the new chat GPT that indicates another feature called uh, Magic Create. No one's really sure exactly what Magic Create is. So just for fun, I you know grabbed the screenshot and took it over to chat GPT to ask it. But of course it did not give up any goods whatsoever. Uh, I did have it speculate what it might be and it ranged from automated responses to AI enhancement tools. Also leading into our next story is a pretty interesting infographic that I ran across from Charter uh, that shows you exactly how big OpenAI is at $86 billion. Uh, it is larger than all of those various companies to the right of it. So with OpenAI at 86 billion, that does put some context into this story in which Google is apparently backing Anthropic, the creators of Claude with $2 billion. And that's actually coming off of $1.5 billion dropped to them by Amazon just a few weeks ago. Now, the interesting part here is that according to a pitch deck that was obtained by TechCrunch back in April, Anthropic have a four-year, $5 billion plan to take on OpenAI. So it sounds like between Google and Amazon, Anthropic is pretty much there. Now, granted, this is a little shy of the $11 billion that Microsoft is paying out to OpenAI. Now, all of that money isn't like being dump trucked all at once, but rather is being doled out in the millions over the years. But it is interesting to see Google dropping some coin considering that it has its own large language model, Gemini, set to release very soon. By all reports, Gemini is supposed to be pretty groundbreaking, but at the same time, no one's seen it. So is this a 
a case of Google flinching, or is this a strategic move to try to hamper OpenAI with another rival, kind of a enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of thing. And you know, with Apple looming in the background, it does look like 2024 is going to be the real kickoff of the AI wars. I don't know about you, but I'm actually really looking forward to it. Let me know in the comments who you're rooting for in the epic showdown. Personally, I really want Sydney being back. I miss that crazy lunatic. I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.